Hi, I'm Dr. Anne Iragu from University of South Wales in the UK. I'll take you through the procedure for the final aspirate of the thyroid gland. But before I do so, I'll take you through what is a thyroid gland and why the doctor may request for this procedure. What is a thyroid gland? It is an endocrine gland located at the anterior part of your neck. An endocrine gland is one that which produces hormones which are body's chemical messengers. It has the shape of a butterfly with the two lateral lobes, the right and the left, and the middle narrower part called the isthmus. In an adult, it measures around four to six centimeters in length and around 1.3 to 1.8 centimeters in width. It produces two hormones, the T3 and T4, which are responsible for controlling many body functions like metabolism, body temperature, growth and development. I will show you the thyroid gland. As you can see, it's located at the anterior part of the neck. It has the shape of a butterfly. In the normal size, the thyroid gland is not visible to the naked eye. It can become enlarged due to some thyroid diseases, and this is called a goiter. What can cause the thyroid gland to be enlarged? This includes lack of iodine in diet, also called iodine deficiency, some autoimmune conditions like Graves' disease and Hashimoto disease, thyroid nodules, which can be there in multiple or in single, and this can be cancerous or non-cancerous, some form of inflammation, or in, during the pregnancy, the thyroid gland can also become enlarged. What can happen when you have a goiter? Some people have no symptoms at all. There could be a swelling at the front part of the neck, which can be noted by self, by someone else, or by the doctor. One may have obstructive symptoms, like difficulty in swallowing or breathing, if the goiter is very large or enlarged inwards. Some patients they have symptoms of excess thyroid hormone production, which is called hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis, or symptoms of reduced thyroid hormone production, which is also called hypothyroidism. What are the symptoms of hyperthyroidism? Excessive sweating, being aware of your heartbeat, which is also called palpitations. Your heartbeat may beat faster, which is called the tachycardia. An intentional weight loss, despite an increased appetite. Irritability, nervousness, or anxiety. In females, the menstrual cycle may be affected. For some patients, the blood pressure may be high and may have the hypertension. You may also feel uncomfortable when exposed to excessive heat, which is called heat intolerance. Eye changes may occur where they can pop out, and some people may have hair changes where the hair become thin and fine. What about the opposite of that, which is the hypothyroidism? One may feel unusually cold, which is a cold intolerance. The weight may increase despite a reduced appetite. The leg may have swelling. The menstrual cycle again may be disturbed. The hair become hard and coarse. The patient may experience depression or fatigue. There could be constipation, some dryness of the skin, and deepening of the voice. What will the doctor do when you have a goiter? You should visit your doctor when you notice that goiter is enlarged with or without the above symptoms. The doctor will ask you some questions and will examine you. Some of the tests your doctor may request of you include the thyroid function test where the T3, the T4, and the TSH will be done. The thyroid ultrasound may be requested and in some cases, the fine needle aspirate will be done. What is a fine needle aspirate procedure? This is a simple procedure carried out by either your doctor or another qualified person. It is done as an outpatient. No special preparation is needed. It involves using a fine needle to aspirate some material from the thyroid gland. This is then assessed in the laboratory using a microscope to determine the disease affecting your thyroid gland. It can be done with or without the guidance of an ultrasound. I'll take you through a short video of the thyroid gland fine needle aspiration procedure. How is a thyroid fine needle aspirate procedure done? 
The doctor will prepare the slides, preservatives, gloves, alcohol swabs, syringes, and needles. You will be seated, or alternatively, lie down on a couch. The neck will be exposed and swabbed with an alcohol swab. The doctor will palpate the goiter or the nodule. Local anesthesia is not required as the pain is very mild. A needle will be inserted on the goiter or the nodule and aspirated a few times. Avoid moving or talking during the procedure. What will happen after the aspiration? A gentle pressure will be applied at the site to avoid any bleeding. No pain or bleeding is expected after the procedure unless you're on a blood thinner drugs, which you should inform your doctor before the procedure. You will remain seated for a few minutes. The material aspirated is then spread on at least three slides. What will happen afterwards? Two of the slides will be inserted in the container with the preservative and one slide will be left to air dry. The slides will be sent to the laboratory for analysis. You will be allowed to go home after the procedure. Your result will be out after a few days of which your doctor should explain to you the result and advise you accordingly. Occasionally, a repeat FNA may be needed if the results are non-diagnostic. Thank you.